for this video, guys. The only thing that I have with me is my get home bag, which I recently did a video on my urban get home bag and my pocket everyday carry. The only other thing that I added is my kind of charging kit for whenever I go on a trip like this, which has like power bank on it. Um, what else do I have in there? Obviously, my, I keep my microphone in there uh, and some other cords to charge my various devices. So you can go and look up these videos and see exactly what I have on me. The only thing that may have changed is the snacks that I have in my bag because I kind of go through those throughout the week and I kind of uh, replenish those at the end of the week. So anyway, yeah, if you want to check those videos out, I'll leave a link to that in the description box below. I greatly appreciate it if you uh, go check those out. And if you haven't, uh, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that also. But uh, I don't know about you, but you cannot go wrong with the Chipotle burrito in my book. Uh, in this get home bag, I have multiple options. I can sleep on the floor, but I think what I'm going to go for tonight, what I'm planning on doing is just setting up my little small uh, Kajaro hammock with nothing over the top. I looked at the radar. It doesn't look like there's any rain in the forecast, so I should be good. The temperature is going to get down to about 72-ish is what I saw is the, the coldest, so I shouldn't need a blanket or anything like that. If I do need something, I'll probably whip out my shamog. My wife convinced me to douse myself with bug spray, which I'm sure I'll be thanking her for later. Before we start the video, I wanted to give a quick shout out to Trustfire Flashlights. They recently sent me a Mini X3 EDC flashlight. And uh, actually, go ahead and take a look at the specs. I'll let you have a quick look at this. EDC flashlight. It's really awesome. The Trust Fire Mini X3 EDC flashlight has a maximum brightness of 1050 lumens and a maximum beam range of 128 meters. The version that you're looking at here is the black with rose gold accents, but the Mini X3 is also available in a gray titanium gold, army green, midnight blue, and also a desert yellow. There are two options, red light or UV. The version you're looking at here is the red light version. When you receive your flashlight, inside of the box you'll receive one Mini X3, a user manual, and a Type-C charging cable. The Mini X3 is an all-metal construction with etched-in grooves on the side for added grip. Three modes of floodlight, spotlight, and laser can be switched very easily, making this light suitable for many tasks. The tail is designed with a magnetic function so that the light can be used as a work light to free your hands. The Mini X3 comes in at 93 grams of all metal construction, is type C rechargeable with a built in 1500 milliamp lithium polymer battery, and also has a power indicate and battery warning so that you can very easily check the battery at any time. Operating the Mini X3 couldn't be easier with the side toggle switch at the top position. By simply pressing and holding the main switch for half a second, will activate laser mode. With the side toggle switch in the middle position, by simply pressing and holding the main switch for half a second, will activate the spotlight mode. By holding for one and a half seconds with the side toggle switch in the middle position, will activate the red light mode. With the side toggle switch in the bottom position, by simply pressing and holding the main switch for half a second, will activate floodlight. With your Mini X3 in the floodlight position, your flashlight has a maximum beam range of 76 meters with 303 lumens, which will run for 3 hours and 16 minutes. With your flashlight in spotlight mode, it has a maximum brightness of 1,050 lumens, which will run for 2 hours and 10 minutes, and has a maximum beam range of 128 meters. The red light on your Mini X3 will run for 25 hours. To check the battery, simply press the main switch on the front of the flashlight one time and you will either receive a green light, a yellow light, a red light, or a flashing red. Green indicates 80 to 100% charge, yellow 20 to 80%, red less than 5%, and flashing red means you're running out of battery 
and you should get your Mini X3 on the charger as soon as possible. The Mini X3 with its functions, reliable quality and workmanship make this a great choice for everyday carry in the city or in the backcountry. I'll leave a link in the description box below if you wanted to go get one for yourself today. Use coupon code WILDERNESS10 at checkout and you can get 10% off. Alright guys, so all done eating and Lord willing we will be right back in there somewhere here very shortly. Right now I'm going to go fill up on this water, get a lid on this thing. I've uh, really been wanting to do this for quite a while. Uh, honestly, I'm, this is my first time ever doing anything like this. Um, if I, I don't even know. I mean, if I got busted somehow, which I don't even really want to talk about that, but uh, let me double check, make sure I got my keys in my pocket. If for some reason I got busted, I don't think you get in tons of trouble. I'm not gonna be having a fire or anything crazy, but uh, we'll see. So here's the uh, here's the road. This is a pretty pretty busy road, uh, and it is Friday night, so I believe Chipotle is open until 11 o'clock. So I think they're probably gonna be pretty uh, bustling all night. I should be nice and comfy in my hammock, <laughs> keeping it low key. So here's the creek. Over here is that trail. Uh, and this trail overall is used a lot. A lot of people hike this trail, bike this trail, walk this trail. Uh, I would ima imagine there's regular people who walk this every night because just over on this side of the road, um, is on the other side of these trees, obviously, all along this road are just different neighborhoods, uh, apartments scattered throughout over here. So there are a lot of people right around here in this area. But, so the trails over here on this side, you have the creek, the side that I'm gonna be on is right over here. And so there's not really any access back over here unless you're doing like me and cutting through the Chipotle parking lot <laughs> so like I said on this side there'll be plenty of access over here and I'll be right back over in there so with my Kajaru hammock should blend in perfectly with that foliage over there and obviously I'm going to try, like I said, to keep it as low key as possible, but uh, check out somebody left their soccer ball over there. But anyway, guys, I head back over there because I'm going to need to be hunkering down as Steve Wallace would say here pretty quickly. Oh, of course. <laughs> Literally one of the employees is sitting outside. What are the odds? Look at that raccoon over there running across the parking lot. There he goes, right over in my area. All right, there's one of the employees over there. I'm trying 
try to look as uh, least amount of sketchy as possible as I unfold my tri tripod. <laughs> Tension over here, so I'm gonna try and get down down in there. There's delivery drivers that keep pulling up over down there. Wow, it is pretty heavily overgrown down in here. This is way more overgrown than I was expecting. A little tunnel over there. Drainage. Got a busted sign all the way down here. How in the world did that happen? Another sign over here. Man, I'm... This just feels like Poison Ivy City down here <laughs> for some reason. Man, finding two trees might be a little more difficult than I was thinking. I'm hoping it's coming through okay down in here wow yeah this is pretty overgrown guys here's some people over there on the trail These two trees right here, guys, might be what I'm looking for, or <laughs> as close to what I'm gonna get. Guys, I think I'm gonna have to call it. I'm gonna have to go ahead and make the call and say these are my two trees. I don't really see much else. Getting darker down here for sure. Let me see if you can see my watch here, it is. Let's see. Uh, if it'll focus. 9.02 p.m. guys. Hey. This guy's right up there. Is what I'm gonna use and then this tree over here man I may be making entirely too much noise for a stealth camp <laughs> all right guys it's about now or never gotta get this get this bag set up I'm gonna pull out my Hank of paracord just to get my bag up off the ground. I really don't want to have to be digging for my bag if I need to get anything. So <clears throat> I'm going to try and get this all set up fairly quickly. So my bag's off the ground. And guys, there is absolutely no way. I'm so glad I have this hammock because there would be 
no way that I'm gonna sleep on the floor here. It would be entirely too much work. Maybe you guys can see me. The, the light over there is kind of shining on me, but I'm not sure how well you're seeing it. somebody up there filming right now I have no idea what he's filming what in the world is going on <laughs> there was a car hanging out up there by the building just a minute ago literally like filming their car <laughs> I try not to be too loud down here uh, so those lights are shining over here and I would imagine they're going to be shining over here all night. But I don't know. It's a pretty good spot. I mean, the moon's peeking through right there. Um, I don't know if you can see the... Yeah, you can probably see the lights of the cars driving by. <laughs> Alright, guys. So I'm down here. It's about look at my watch a little past 9 30 uh, i'm all squared away i really don't know i mean there's i don't know <laughs> i don't know what i thought i was gonna do down here <laughs> there's literally you can't do anything uh like i said like steve wallace says all you can really do is hunker down at this point uh i got down here i'm hoping that that employee that was kind of sitting there the good thing about cell phones these days is so many people just are oblivious to anything that's going on around them so she just didn't look like she was paying attention to anything but her phone so i just kind of came back down here um i think i'm probably i mean with 50 yards maybe maybe the chipotle um like I said, I think they're open until 11 o'clock. So for the next hour and a half, I would imagine they're going to be getting some orders here and there. People are going to be showing up, but uh, there's not much of anything to do down here. I don't want to be moving around a whole lot because there is a ton of trip hazards around here. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> this is... I feel like a total knucklehead right now. <laughs> but, uh... I, I, I wish I would have got going a little earlier. So I could have had a little bit more light down here. But that's the way things go sometimes. So my plan is... I mean, you're looking at it. Uh, lay here. Try and get some sleep. The bugs are not that bad. Uh, I put on that bug spray uh, pretty heavy before I came out here. This is it, guys. I'm going to just kind of hunker down here for the night. Um, yeah, and just try to get some rest. Try to get some sleep. Probably give my wife a call. Keep the volume down and just listen to the sounds of the city. This is going to be a completely different experience than sleeping out in the woods, I think. <laughs> this is kind of surreal being out here, but... Uh, anyways guys do me a favor hit that like and subscribe button and uh, I'm going to try to get some sleep and I guess I'll see you guys in the morning for a cup of coffee uh, and kind of go over everything yep <laughs> see you guys tomorrow hopefully I don't get arrested guys so it's uh it's about five o'clock in the morning on the dot uh well yeah 
That's goofy. You probably can't see that. Yeah, uh, I'm hoping I'm in the shot right now. It's about five o'clock in the morning. Uh, I just got up a little bit ago to put the phone on the charger. I was up a little bit last night talking to my wife, um, probably till about 10, 30, 11, uh, doing a couple things on the phone. And uh, so yeah, I got up. Uh, and to be honest, I slept fairly well. I uh, The temperature was great. It's been probably right around 70 degrees all night long. Bugs have not been bad whatsoever. Uh, this was overall way better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I don't, I'm not sure if you can hear the cars. Obviously there's cars every now and again. Every once in a while you'll get a, you know, somebody racing down the highway right here, uh, just north of here. And then, uh, west of here, there's actually two highways that intersect just right behind here. And so uh, there were some cars that were pretty loud. Uh, as you heard probably about uh, an hour ago, hour and a half ago, uh, there was a cop, a couple cops that went by. Uh, but I, I was already awake. I've been awake for about an hour or so. Uh, and obviously off and on throughout the night, I woke up a little bit. But uh, I'm honestly going to go ahead and get up and get going. It's Saturday morning. Um, so there's really no worries. These corporate office buildings around here, more than likely, there's not going to be very many people coming in on a Saturday morning. Um, so there's really no need for me to be out of here at any specific time. Uh, Chipotle is not going to open up. Probably won't be people around here until about 10 o'clock or so. So I have plenty of time. Uh, I wanted to walk around a little bit. I have some things that I wanted to do, get some shots and stuff like that. I'm gonna get a coffee brew in here in uh, just a little bit. But uh, for right now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get everything packed up and uh, I'm gonna call this a successful first uh, stealth camp. Um, I'm not too concerned right now about having the lights on even if some cars see me because honestly there's lights over here uh, that have kind of been shining through uh, over this way anyways if I had to guess it probably doesn't even look that much out of place this light here but uh, anyway the the Kajaru hammock uh, was phenomenal I'll try to show you guys kind of how I laid pretty much all day or pretty much all night long uh, just kind of like this nothing nothing over the top of me or anything like that uh, just kind of chilled out laid back and repositioned myself every once in a while but uh, I haven't this is honestly the first time that I have slept overnight I believe with this hammock but uh this hammock is fantastic it's super lightweight and i'm so grateful that i had it in the pack because uh like i mentioned last night trying to find a, a place on the ground around here to sleep would have been pretty rough uh right about right when i got up i had to uh, use the restroom i uh, just had to just go pee. Um, yeah, I'm real grateful that I didn't have to do anything else after eating that burrito because doing that around here would have wouldn't have been too much fun either. I'll just leave it at that. But uh, I have the uh, uh, Mini X3 EDC flashlight actually just attached right here to a little tree branch, and it's working great. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get everything packed up guys, probably brew up a coffee right up here in the parking lot. Uh, so I'm going to get all that done right now. Alright, I'm gonna have to kind of 
to take my time around here and see if I can remember which way I even came in here. Pretty sure it was this way. All right, there's the old water drainage. I remember seeing that, so yeah. I'm coming the right way, guys. Obviously, I'm not the only person that's been down here. I guess that could be stuff that's been blown in. Yeah, I can't turn this off yet. Still gotta get up here some more. So here we are. Let me get this stinking light off now. <laughs> Nice morning guys wow not a single car in the parking lot I wasn't expecting that well at least I didn't get towed all right guys well it is currently uh, about 10 after 6 in the morning and I actually decided to uh, go ahead and leave the parking lot over there at the Chipotle and shot over here to uh, scooters and grabbed a coffee on my way home um, probably just give my wife a call and see if she wants a coffee uh, and then head home um, I know it's been kind of a man I think it's been a few weeks at this point since I've gotten a video out just been extremely busy had a lot of uh, just things coming up you know sometimes that's how it goes uh but in an not tomorrow the next day uh two days from now i'll be leaving on a trip with uh two of my youngest boys and uh, we'll be headed out to a uh, lake out in southern kansas and uh yeah with some men of the church and things like that so i'll be doing some filming while, while i'm out there so I'm hoping to get this video out in the next day, uh, day or two before I head out to that trip. And uh, while I'm out there, I'll be taking the One Wind Solitary Shelter, I believe it's called, that was recently sent to the channel by One Wind Outdoors. So uh, be on the lookout for that video. I'm going to be doing some filming and testing that uh, product out. But um, yeah, so I got some things planned for the channel. Just got to you know find the time to do them uh got another trip actually a family trip planned for early july we'll be gone for four days or so so i'll also be doing some filming out there so you know with taking these trips you got to put in extra time at work things like that uh, so uh, but anyway i really enjoyed this trip actually uh, i was actually kind of surprised at how well it went um, i'm going to try and do better in the future at making sure that um, I got everything set up. You know, I had that, excuse me, I had that issue with the microphone, but uh, you know, that's just the way it goes. <laughs> I'm still learning as I go doing all this. But um, anyway, if this is the content that you like, everything, you know, outdoors, bushcraft, camping, survival, gear loadouts, gear testing, gear reviews, that sort of thing, uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already and look forward to seeing you guys on the next one god bless have a great day